So in this video, we're going to talk about the difference between quota and stratified sampling. Okay, so we're going to see the comparison between stratified and quota sampling. So what is the real big deal with these two sampling? What makes it confusing for us? Because uh, a lot of people are confused with this to sampling. So let's just look at the definition of, of these two. So for stratified sampling, so it's actually a random sampling where one takes samples from various subpopulations, it's called strata, proportionally in the larger population. So we basically uh, randomly select uh, the samples from small groups we call it strata, which is uh, parts of the whole population. While for quota sampling, it's a non-probability sampling where you take a very tailored sample that's in proportion to some characteristic or trait of a population. So what's similar to both stratified and quota sampling is they are taking proportionally from smaller groups of a population that's make it the same for them it's proportional from smaller groups and uh, what's obvious that they are not the same is stratified is random sampling while quota sampling is a non random or non probability sampling so let me illustrate to you uh, the difference between these two to make it clearer and so that you will not get confused whether your research is doing a stratified sampling or it's a quota sampling. Okay, so let's uh, assume that we have uh, this population. There are actually uh, 100 icons of humans here that is representing our uh, population. So the red ones are the female and the light yellow colored uh, human icons are uh, male. Okay, so there are actually, if you're going to count that, there are 30 out of 100 fem female and 70 out of 100 male. So basically in percent, it's 30% female, 70% male in our population. So this is how we select uh, uh, stratified uh, using stratified sampling from this population okay so in stratified sampling it's usually already set in subgroups or there are subgroups already where are where the uh, respondents or participants are intact in these groups or sometimes you can also do it uh, on your own you can divide them um, just heterogeneously meaning it's uh, just mixed without considering anything but usually we don't uh, do that when it's uh, the population is not uh, doesn't have subgroup so we don't do stratified sampling we only use this sampling when they the group the, the population is divided into different um, smaller groups so that means we cannot uh, force them to be in one group because they are already intact. Let's say, for example, you are studying, uh, you are doing a research in a classroom, and I mean in a school where there are different classrooms, and you cannot just simply tell the students to be mixed in one room. So they are in different classrooms, they are in different sections, and so you are going to select from uh, each uh, section or classroom so those are the strata or the group so that's what we are talking about and they uh, th the groups are usually not having equal size okay so just like here in our example there are three groups uh, the first group at the left is having 60 uh, no, it's 30 there are 30 or meaning 30 percent of the whole population because there, there are 100 a uh, total of people here and then in the middle it's 50 and at the right side which is smaller it's only 
20 or 20 percent so in percent it's 30 percent at the left in the middle 50 percent at the right is 20 percent so you are going to let's say let's assume that you only need you need 10 samples of participants just for example so you are going to uh, collect samples from each of this group proportionally meaning if there are uh, it's a if it's bigger percent let's say uh, 30 percent in uh, from the left then you're going to select also 30 percent from your sample so since you are you have only you need 10 people so 30 percent of 10 is three so you uh, those three are coming from the group at the left. Since the middle is 50%, so 50% of 10 is 5. So 5 of the of the people are coming from that group from the middle. And at the right is 20% of the whole population. So 20% of the 10 is 2. So 2 people will be coming from that group at the right. So that's the meaning of uh, proportional so since again the, since there are 30% uh, of the population is of the left group so you're going to take three from them because you as I said you need 10 uh, participants or respondents so 30% of 10 is three so you need the three coming from the group then at the middle, it's 50%, so 50% of 10 is 5, so you need 5 from them. So, as you select from each group, it must be randomly selected. So, there are different ways to do that, but you can uh, do a draw lots from each group. So, you can take all the names from... Uh, from that group and then select three and then in the middle you're going to collect all the names and select three randomly I mean select five because there are five and at the right since you need only two so you collect all those names and then you select two so it doesn't matter whether it's all female or all male as long as you randomly select it so you you have no control on which gender or which characteristic are the people that you are about to select because it's random so let's continue let's uh, take two from the group at the right because it's 20 percent of the whole population so we're gonna take two because two is the 20 percent of 10. so that's the meaning of proportional selection in stratified random sampling so it's proportionally, so the sample size is uh, distributed proportionally from the subgroups. So the lesser subgroup, the lesser number that you're going to select. Just like for 20% at the right, you only take 2 because it's 20% of 10. So that's the idea of stratified sampling. Now let's move to quota sampling. So we're going to use the same number of population. So this is still 100. So 30% are female, 70% are male. Now for quota sampling, you are going to select according to its trait. So there are different traits. So let's say uh, gender. So you are going to select participants according uh, proportionally according to gender. So the female are 30% from the population male is 70% so you are going to select let's say you you need also 10 people here so you are going to make sure that 30% of your sample is female because that's the proportion in population and 70% are male because that is the proportion of male also in the population so if it's more female in the population, I mean, it's more male in the population, then it also must be more male in the sample. So that means if it's 30% female, so that means 30% of 10 is 3. So there must be 3 um, women or female 
and seven male because it's 70 percent in the population so that's how you select uh, the samples using quota sampling so basically in stratified if we are going to sub summarize the two sampling in stratified uh, the subgroups here are not controlled by the uh, or it it can be it can be but usually for stratified it is intact subgroups meaning it's already naturally having a subgroup and then you are going to randomly select from each group and according to uh, the proportion of the group if it's um, lesser number of people in that subgroup then you're going to select lesser number of samples for the quota sampling it is not something uh, that is intact already but it is the researcher who is going to uh, create um, criteria for the characteristic so let's let's say gender for example so we're going to um, consider the female and male in the whole population so that's the thing of the quota sampling is you must have an idea of the whole population characteristic and so if you already know that 30% uh, are female and 70% are male and so you are going to evenly distribute uh, the selection so here it is not random so basically you need you're going to choose uh, the participants so of course you're going to ask them about the characteristic but of course if it's gender then you don't need to ask because it's easy for you to identify but for other um, characteristic let's say age and so you're going to to ask them whether they uh, they are they fall in, under 18 to 20 or 21 to 25 and so on so you need to ask them and select them uh, hand picking and like for stratified it's random so that's the difference between stratified and quota so stratified it's a uh, group where it's mixed and quota it's group because of its uh, characteristic that you are um, controlling you are grouping them according to its characteristic so that's the difference between stratified and quota sampling thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section